Bel Air isn't exactly known for one bedroom rentals. But then again, downtown LA isn't exactly synonymous with an extravagant lifestyle. Until now. I think it's very expensive <laughs> down here. But I like the amenities of I like the people I live with. I like the action downtown, if not the smells. Downtown LA is undergoing its largest construction boom since the 1920s. Restaurants, bars, hotels, and apartment buildings are going up faster than ever before. There's a huge market for it now. Everybody wants to flock down here, which is awesome for us as a business. Hell yeah, we're making it happen. Um, but it's it's crazy, and I do see people getting pushed out. And Rents in downtown LA shot up 6% since September, sending many to live in more affordable areas like Koreatown or West Adams. Around 2013, 2014, the, the rents started going up, and I had a, a much larger place. Um, but the rent just got to be too high, so I, I actually stayed in the sa in the building, but I moved to a smaller unit. Drew Lerner moved to downtown in 2009. He says back then you got a lot more for your money than other neighborhoods, more amenities, bigger apartments, but... It was, it was pretty desolate. Um, you know, it's, it's been oh, only in the last couple of years where it's really... There's something new opening up, I, you know, every corner, every other, every other week. So, um, but yeah, back then it was... It was us and the homeless people. Despite skyrocketing rents, the homeless are still here, now sleeping outside some of the most expensive new addresses as more and more historic buildings are bought and flipped. Right, this is our hotel parking, like what, <laughs> two and a half years ago? And now it's a 10 story high rise uh, full of condos and studios. Are things going to get bad enough where you're going to have to move to Bel Air where the rent is cheaper? <laughs> yes, yes. I absolutely will be, and I, and I will be the fresh prince, or the not-so-fresh prince of Bel Air. <laughs> yeah. In downtown L.A., Lauren Savon, Fox 11 News.